Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel at house number 24. I am Usha, I have come up again one more blog today. So I am taking you guys to a beautiful place, Sai Mandir and another temple that is Sri Karyasiddhi Anjinaya Swami Temple. So stay with me, I will uh, together we will explore this place and know more about it. This place uh, is a famous one, many people from different places they come visit here. So, so first play, I'm taking you for the Sai Mandir. Um, this is the parking space. It, this temple is near Greenagar. So both the temples are in the uh, very near to, you know, I think a road difference. So the Sai temp uh, temple where you're seeing here, this temple actually, they have connected with uh, Sri Sai Hospital, uh, which is there in Whitefield, Vaidehi, um, near to Vaidehi. So they have a trust and they do help people to get free eye checkup and dental checkup. So it's like, it's more than a temple. Yeah. So here, whatever you're seeing, this is a place before when we were child, um, you know, those days, this was a temple. Now uh, it is a smaller one. We used to um, have your prayers and pujas. The same temple now they have constructed the bigger one opposite to the same temple. So if you see Sai Baba Murti, it looks like Baba is sitting right next front of you to give a blessing. That real it looks. So I love this temple. Mm, let's get into the temple and um, you guys also take Darshna together with me. Yes, we got into the temple after taking the round of the Baba temple. Now we are in a queue. Uh, actually, we reached a little early so that I can have peaceful uh, Dashna of the Baba. Like I can sit some time because of this COVID and I've taken my daughter also with me. So apart from we two, there were no one um, in the temple because people start coming after five. We were there at four o'clock itself uh, in the evening. So here we go. My Baba is here. You can feel right. He's sitting right there, you know, as a real one. Yeah, it just close to where real one like real baba is sitting that feel you feel whenever um, i see him i'm so emotionally connected to this temple because i've been uh, going to this temple almost 20 plus years uh, after my tuitions me and my friend my gangs wish to go there uh, Thursdays they, you will have wonderful prayers it will be so nice you feel like Baba is just there that kind of positive energy is there in that prayer you can feel that if somebody is attended uh, uh, Baba's um, prayers can relate me and also I always feel like Baba is staring at me um, that calmness that relaxation I think you know buddha face if you see and baba this two you know that gives that calmness to you so that was i feel here and there is another temple in bangalore um i think in nr colony even that baba temple is also very nice i love to go there because i like that calm uh, feeling in the temples to take that uh, only I go there. So we've done with the Dashnam and we are heading towards the next temple. It is right next road itself. So there the temple is going to be opening by 5.30. So once we done here, we went there. We thought we go early. We will be able to, uh, you know, there will be less people. That was the intention. But uh, before we going, uh, reach to that near the gate, already too many people and there is no parking space. That that many people tend to come here you can see the gate is still closed many people already make made up the queue and they're standing here 
here i would briefly give information about this temple there is a um, lot of things about this temple many people from all the other states also and parts of bangalore they visit karya siddhi anjaneya swami temple as the name says in kannada karya siddhi means whatever that you have a wish you come here and pray and tie the tender coconut that will be fulfilled so previously it was 42 days puja now it's going to be only 16 days puja 16 days uh, people will come every day or few, few people will come on saturdays and tuesday they take a round of 16 rounds of uh, temple and uh, they quit non veg and there is an um, um, ashrotra a man um, you have to chant that for 16 times and uh, do the prayer to the god uh, this is a process they follow this see how many people are there just temple is just opened Mm, people are already in the queue to buy the tender coconut and do the sankalpa and um, tie them to the temple so surrounding the temple you will see most of tender coconuts are tied up uh, sometimes they will have a shortage of spaces but yeah i've let's go and explore this temple as well and you guys also take the that's now of the my vajrang bali with me and um, um if you get a chance try and visit this new temple you will not regret you are going to love them because it's going to give that um relaxing positive energy to you that is something um, you get it from the temple uh, your prayers will be answered or not i'm not sure but mental health is very important that is something guarantee you will get it in the this visit to this temples okay so the temple structure and all this it looks like similar to sri kshetra dharmasthala temple and it's like a mata also karasiddhi anjaneya swami uh, mata is there in the mysore somebody in the mysore can visit this temple where you can enjoy the god and nature together that beautiful that mata is there so do not miss if you are from mysore ask for google and go and visit once if you i wanted i will provide the address and details in description box But inside uh, after sanitizing you will be able to see this bajrang bali uh, you know bigger statue below that you have a small smaller um, statue as well the entire structure uh, of the temple is almost like a mata uh, this temple is also been here in the girinagar almost 25 to 30 years so by the time i got to know this temple almost like 20 22 plus years i've been visiting this temple uh, whenever i visit my mom's place i think you guys can also relate it somebody have um, come out from your native place it may be a guy or girl if you come out from your native place for working or you're married or you moved to a different place but whenever you go back to the place where you have grown up as a child you will definitely visit that places where you have sent uh, spent lot of uh, time like memories uh, i guess you can relate it i do the same thing whenever i visit my mom place i take uh, you know tour of all those places not every places that i can cover but yeah here and there i plan and i make sure i go there and uh, spend some time uh, so here is the, my bajrang bali it is a uh, beautiful they do butter um, decoration alankara they say it uh, when they do it oh my god hi i just stand there watching the god i just get lost it sometimes i usually go alone this time i took my daughter with me if not i go alone because i am going to take lot of time um and uh, if i take somebody with me i have a feeling right or oh, somebody is waiting i have to get out get up fast fast so i usually go alone where i take that own time for myself stand and watch my uh, you know <laughs> god and recall all those memories i've been in this temple whenever i have ups and downs yeah i share everything with him so you can see right all the way you have tender co coconut tied up and uh, this is a place where they remove that um, um coat and they'll give you the coconut where you can you go to your home and you can do the prasadam and uh, share with your neighbors friends and family members if you're not 
you know turning by returning to the temple and taking this out the temple will use this uh, tender coconut for uh, puja purpose uh, that's what they said they wait for you two weeks after 16 days so few people are traveling from different places sometimes they may not come due to n number of reasons that's why they use it up so you can see a lot of people actually this is just temple is open after like 6 6 30 you will not have place to keep your leg that busy this temple it's going to be even then in the covid situation the people are so many here so it's going to be like a festive um kind of something some special festivals happening here you can uh, have a god um, goddess of um, dattatreya swami and shiva temple and bajrang bali so you you can have a dashna you i think you guys can have a proper dashna now the people are sitting here after buying tena coconut batch wise they will do the sankalpa here and later uh, in the ticket itself they will have a alphabet where they have to tie their tender coconut um, safely and they, uh, one, they can visit 16 days will be there for them where they can visit and uh, take the round and do the chanting of the mantra and all those happens okay so this yeah this is one more idol of uh, lord uh, bajrang bali i love it i love him um, whenever i come here i said no i get just get lost it and I, I I become a new person. I feel all my worries have taken out. I feel like I'm just, just relaxed. Somebody is there behind me. Something like that feeling. So that happens to me whenever I'm here. So you can see a lot of tender coconuts have been tied from a lot of devotees here. They um, actually... Uh, there will be shortage of spaces also even i have tried it uh, yeah my wish was have come through so true um yeah you guys also get a chance to not miss it go and uh, have it look uh, dashna of the god this is a list of um things that they perform in the um, temple so i've just put up here if you have anything that in your mind you want to do it you can plan accordingly that's it for today's video i have taken my daughter for uh, play area there's a lot of parks in kirinagar if you guys are from kirinagar or bangalore bangalore comment me or if you have visited any of these places just comment me and let me know what you feel about it um yeah i've taken her for the park so she loves playing outdoor uh in girinagar you have a number of parks for the kids neat and nicely maintained that is something um i would say um girinagar is a special place uh why i tell you even in the summer sun will not touch the earth why because there are tall tall trees covering up that's where i think i love greenery because uh, once i moved to kerpuram batrali i was missing those greenery so that's where i became a gardener uh, so i built my own terrace garden so that's that is my inspiration so yeah that's it for today i'll see you in another video uh, in some other content that i'll get you for you uh, if you if you like anything in this uh, video please like share and subscribe check out my other videos if you feel anything just put up in the comments i'm so happy to read your comments because i love you all take care see you bye, -bye.